Welcome to this video. In this video, I will be going over solving exponential function equations. And this time, this is my second part of a two-part series on solving exponential equations. In this one, I'll be going over exponential equations that do not have equal bases. So for these problems, um, we really have two options here, but I'll show you how we do uh, the first one as an example, and then in the pre in the next ones you have um, you know kind of a different approach. But I think um, I, I think for the most part you can use you can use uh, the methods that I show on this video. Again, I really encourage you to try to uh, pause it, try a couple, and if you feel confident, um, then just kind of go through the the video very quickly. I'm going to be going through five very different examples, so um, uh, try your best to take a look at all all five of the examples. So here's the first one. We're going to solve for x, 23 minus 5 times e to the x plus 1 equals 3. So the first thing we want to do is whenever we're solving something like this, we want to isolate the exponent part. So we're going to try to get this part right here by itself. So the way we do that is we're going to subtract 23 from both sides. And we're going to get negative 5 times e to the x plus 1 equals negative 20. We're going to divide both sides by negative 5. Then we're going to get e to the x plus 1 equals 4. Now we can switch this to logarithm form. So we're going to have the log base e. Well, we know the log base e is the natural log of 4 equals x plus 1. Lastly, we're just going to subtract 1, and we're going to get x equals ln of 4 minus 1. Sometimes, uh, because I don't want, because sometimes we don't want to get confused, we don't want to subtract the 4 and the 1. Those are two, this ln and 4, they kind of go together. So we don't want to subtract the 1. Sometimes you'll see it like this. You'll see negative 1 plus ln of 4. And the only reason sometimes they write it like this with the ln after is so you don't get confused and try to subtract the 1 from the 4. So this will be your answer. Actually, either one works as your answer for this problem. Okay, let's take a look at another one. So in this case, uh, we have something that's not an e. And we could use the logarithm formula. So you, you already kind of know how to use the logarithm formula. We've been doing that in, in several of my previous videos. In this case, what we're going to do here is we're going to think back to the, the last property of logarithms that I covered in the last video, which was the equality property. And the equality property stated that um, log base b of x equals log base b of y. That implies that x equals y. In fact, this implication is, um, is two-way. So if x equals y, we know that uh, the log base b of x is equal to the log base b of y. And we can do this by simply doing some exponentials and switching this into exponential form. But um, for time's sake, we'll just remember that these two are equal. So if, if this is equal to this, then by the equality property, I also know that log of 2x minus 3 is equal to log of 7. So all I'm doing is I'm making these two sides a log, just like I did here. Now it doesn't really matter what base we use. We can use a base of 2. We can use a base of 5. It doesn't really matter. Because I like to use natural logs. We use natural logs a lot in calculus and pre-calculus. I'm going to use natural logs almost exclusively. So when you see this I'm using log base e, so when you see that I take the ln of both sides, sometimes they say, oh, take the log of both sides. Take the log of both sides. What does that mean? You're not really taking the log of both sides. What you're doing is you're using this equality property of logarithms to, to put this in terms of logarithms. Now, why would we do that? Well, we know that there's another property that states if I have the logarithm and I have a power in here, I can actually bring this power down in front of the logarithm. 
So now my next step here is to do that. I'm going to have x minus 3. I'm going to put that in parentheses. ln of 2 equals ln of 7. Now, what's probably easiest to do here is to divide ln of 2 by both sides to get rid of it on this side. So I'm going to have x minus 3 equals ln of 7 over ln of 2, because I divided it on both sides. Okay, So you want to see that, that work here. I took this and just divided ln of 2, divided ln of 2. That's how I got this. And then lastly, I'm going to add 2 to both sides, or 3 to both sides. So I'm going to add 3, add 3, and I'm going to get x equals ln of 7 over ln of 2 plus 3. That'll be my answer. Now I can, I can put this in the calculator if I wanted to, um, and just put it just like this to get an approximation. Um, but, but you know, we're looking at just solving it without a calculator right now. So uh, another thing you could do is here, if you an alternative would be to distribute the ln, and I would get x ln two minus three ln two equals ln seven. I would add this part to both sides and get x ln 2 equals ln 7 plus 3 ln 2 and then divide by ln 2 so equals ln 7 plus 3 natural log of 2 all over natural log of 2 and this could be my answer so either answer works um, I know this seems more complicated I, it, it does it's actually it is a little more complicated but we're gonna we're gonna need to do this in our next next example so um, let's take a look at something that's a little bit more challenging. Okay, solve this equation. Now here, we're, we're in kind of a, a, a sticky situation because we have two sides of this equation with two bases that are very different. So we're going to use that logarithm equality property once again, and I'm going to take the natural log of 5x and the natural log of 3 to the 2x plus 1. Again, by changing it into the natural log property of equality, it's giving us an opportunity to bring these powers down in front of the logarithm by using the property of logarithms. So x ln of 5 equals 2x plus 1 ln of 3. Now, if you, if you want to do this in a calculator, you can convert these into their decimal right away, and it'll make this a whole lot easier to solve. Um, but let's say we're not using a calculator, then we're going to want to be very, very careful what we do here. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to distribute the ln of 3. So we're going to have x ln of 5 equals 2x ln of 3 plus ln of 3 because I'm multiplied by the 1. Now we want to get the x's on one side of the equation. So I am going to subtract this to this side. And I'm going to have x ln of 5 minus 2x ln of 3 equals natural log of 3. Okay, everybody stick with me here. We just subtracted both sides. Okay. Now I want to factor an x out of these two terms. So I'm going to factor an x, and I'm going to have right here, I'm just going to have ln of 5 left. Here I factored an x, so I'm going to have 2 ln of 3 equals natural log of 3. Now what do I do to get this x by itself? Well, this x is multiplied by this entire thing, so I'm going to take that entire thing, and I'm going to divide it by both sides of the equation divide so that I can get my x by itself and so my answer is going to be x equals ln of 3 all over natural log of 5 minus 2 natural log of 3 okay and this is my answer so it's it's, it's a bit complicated because you have to deal with this ln of 3 but um, I think, again, if, if you just take it step by step and know that this ln of 3 is kind of like a variable and ln of 5 is just kind of like a, a variable and number and, 
we take it step by step, I think you can, you can get it. You'll notice too, um, if you do some more of these types of problems, you'll notice that they have the same sort of format each time we see it. All right, let's take a look at another one. And I'm going to run through this very quickly because I don't want to spend more than, again, more than about 13 minutes on this whole video. Um, so if you paused it and you worked on it, great. Here's the solution to it. So again, I'm going to do the same thing and take, use the equality of natural logs. Bring the power down. and distribute and again I'm gonna bring this over here actually it's probably best to yeah let's go ahead and bring that over there so negative 2x ln of 2 minus x ln of 3 equals ln 3 and I'm gonna factor out an x so I'm gonna have um, negative 2 ln 2 minus ln 3 equals ln 3 and then I'm gonna divide that over so I'm gonna have x equals ln3 all over negative 2 ln2 minus ln3. Okay, and that's our answer. All right, okay, one last one. This is a pretty interesting problem, actually. We see it come up a lot in, in pre-calculus classes. So this one, this one looks very different. And in fact, if we, we couldn't really solve for one of these bases using that, that idea that I said in the first example. So what really is tricky here is that this is actually this is a quadratic in disguise so let me tell you let me tell you how it is okay how it's a quadratic in disguise let's say i decide that e to the x i'm going to replace e to the x with um let's replace it with a okay so here i've got e to the x squared because remember we multiply these two together times 4 e to the x plus 3 equals 0. Now remember, e to the x was a. So I'm going to replace e to the x here with a, and e to the x here with a, and then everything else stays the same here. So a squared minus 4a plus 3. Well, look at that. That is a quadratic. In fact, I can factor that to two binomials minus three minus one and it would be a a minus one a minus three so this is really just a binomial in disguise now what I'm gonna do here is uh, I'm actually going to go straight from here to this part here so I'm gonna have e to the x minus one times e to the x minus 3 equals 0. Now how do I solve a quadratic when they're like this? I put this one equal to, to 0 and I put this one equal to 0 using the zero product property. So e to the x equals 1, e to the x equals 3. What do I do with this? I change it into its logarithm form. So natural log of 1 equals x, natural log of 3 equals x, well, what do I know about the natural log of 1? That is 0. And this one is just natural log of 3. And there we go. We have two answers. Okay, x equals 0 or x equals ln 3. All right, so those are some examples of solving exponential equations, the second part of my two-part series. Thanks for joining me. Goodbye.